Cup. Welcome back. Tribal Cup. Blues Cup 2021. It is the grand final. We have Pullen Vale versus Wynnum. Wynnum going towards the camera. Pullen Vale away from the camera in the yellow. You can see here that uh, Pullen Vale's sent back a couple of shooters for touch two. So they're playing with a front line of four. And they've got a second line of two shooters that are going to try to kill touch two. So let's see if we have identified that, see if they can get around it. It's going to be a tough, interesting contest. Both teams with contrasting styles. They both love to ruck hard, which is a, the foundation of their football. But you'll see uh, a Wynnum will ruck and then uh, look to sweep or get on the outside of their players with their foot speed. Where Pullen Vale, they will uh, go to their sub box and sweep on and try to create a four on three. And if they're going direct, you'll see them run roosters and sweepers. So a much more structured team in their setup, the Pullen Vale boys. And they're coached by Alec Warner. The Wynnum team, they're coached by Bo Singleton. Uh, both teams have been. Uh, have had their Runcorn Touch Academy coaches assist them in their preparation for Blues Cup. Uh, Pullen Vale is an affiliate and uh, we have had two training sessions down here with the coaches of at uh, Runcorn State High School. So it's great to see both teams in the grand final. Let's see what they come out with. The rain has gone away, the wind has picked up, the clouds are in, the lights are on and the action is aplenty. They run the sweeper, they get around the short side, nearly get there. They've got five players in this corner, that's how they play. Alec Warner saying, give me some chat, Pullen Vale, you're quiet. Here they go, they're trying to sweep on the outside. And not square is the cord. That's the Frenchman, DG. And we got a halfway tap. On the girls' field, cup grand final is Odd Sox versus Cooperu. Some call them Cooperu. Pullen Vale, released to their left, rucking on their middle, come back towards the middle. So working their middles over, they switch in their link and that's good link defence. No, he missed the touch. Play on, trying to recover, they get the winger in and that's a lovely diving touch. So good recovery there by number seven, Dom Monique. So they release the ball. Pullen Vale, that's number 25, Jacob Larch. The Phantom Menace he is. He is good set up and that's a try. We're good. So they release the ball. Pullen Vale, that's number 25, Jacob Larch. The Phantom Menace he is. He is good set up and that's a try. We're good. The Phantom, the Ghost, the Invisible Man. He just gets straight through them. I think he's got transportation powers. Gets them in behind him and releases the ball. Here go the Wynnum steam train rucking their way down the line. Chugga, chugga, chugga. That's number seven, Dominic. Lovely dive, clear touch. The Frenchman, DG. You're here on the continuous coverage. They get an overlap here. Can they slide? They try to release. They create that two on one on the edge. So they switch. They get an overlap here. Can they slide? They try to release. They create that two on one on the edge. So they sweep over. Pullen Vale didn't get across. Wynnum hit back. As you expect from two premiership sides here at Blues Cup 2021. Thanks to our major sponsors, Tribal Sports. You need the gear? Hit up Tribal. Pullen Vale rucking down the line. That's number 63 for Pullen Vale. Samuel. No chance of pronouncing his last name, so let's just call him Sammy S. Sammy K, sorry. And they release the long ball. No touch. That's a turnover. Here you go. Winham. Driving through their middle, the steam train. They're all looking to get on top of it. They all want the ball. Here they go. The Frenchman setting himself up. Wee, wee. Has he got a set up? No, he doesn't. They go the other way. 
Trying to get hands. Good shot by the winger for Pullen Vale. That is number 79. That's Reese Thorington. And he's certainly thawing his way through here. Well done, Reese. Good shot on that last play. Here's number 24. Trolling up the field. Lachlan Green. Nice work, Lockie. Here they go up the sub box. They've put the ball out. Unlucky. That's a turnover. So penalty, seven on. Good decision by the referees. That's referee Bella Mahoney in the gold medal game with referee Maya Creswell Tino. And they run the quickie and release and run the wrap off that. That's number one. Fitzy trying to release the Frenchman. DJ, we get a forward pass. Great call. Jada Phillips on the sideline. Good decision. So off we go. And Pullenvale going forward, up the left sideline. Second touch, third touch, and they're at halfway. And try to release off that one, decided against. So that's four. Setting up for a strike, release back. And they're picking up. That's 25. That's Jacob Larch, the ghost, the phantom, the menace. Dummy, dummy, and he gets and gets touched. So that's a turnover. That's last touch, half court. Off go, Wynnum, the steam train. Frenchman. Wee oui, wee, oui, off he goes, DG. To the winger, and that ball has moved. Just running a little bit too fast. We have the turnover. Here's Pullenvale's chance to take the lead. 20 minutes to go. We'll have to see if we get a score check on field two. Odd Sox versus uh, Cooperoo. They'll be coming shortly. We've got reporters on all fields here to give us the updates for grand finals. Here at Tribal Sports Blues Cup 2021. That's 81 for Pullerval. The no-looker. And, yeah, there was a hand in the way, but he wasn't playing at it. He just threw it into him. Now, I think that's Fitzy. 2-0 to Cooperu on field two. The grand final in the girls' cup. Trying to come off their line. Odd socks. Overlap. And... That is ball down. Turnover, Pullenvale's ball. They take their time on the ball, trying to figure out what they're going to run. Good decision sometimes when you're under the pump. Just take their time on the turnover. Communicate to your teammates. They decide to ruck direct. That's when they all stay on and try to go straight through the middle. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. 81 on the ball, releases to the link. That's 63. Samuel K. K-Dog to his mates. They step back inside, trying to find some space. Here they go, set up for some structure. They're fading to a link. Now Link gets the ball. They check back inside. They check back. They release back the other side. Get the both sides up. They run the sweeper to the left side. Oh, they've got numbers. They fade on the link. They run the rooster. They try to get an overlap. The rapper gets around. He gets released. That's man on at the moment because the link made the touch and it was pretty to watch, but eventuates to nothing. You're in the continuous call. Here with Jazzy Bullock, Kieran Paget in production. Brianna Ma gets on the camera. We've got the A team. Of Maya Creswell Tino and Jada Phillips and Bella Mahoney on the field refereeing. Here goes Wynnum, the steam train running out of steam this set. Dummy, dummy, oh, out of nothing, out of nothing. That's Fitzy. Nothing happened there. There was nothing going, and the shimmy shimmy shake, the dummy, dummy go. The winger goes, the link slows down, and he just burn him. 2-1 to win them. <laughs> 17 minutes to go. Long time to go, ladies and gentlemen. The game's definitely not over. We're in Pullenvale to bring out a lovely set from the halfway tap. They've got some lovely halfway moves. They'll bring one out here. Here they go. They run into a bit of a rooster. They drive, same middle. They switch in. He drives on his middle. They've got a sweeper off this one. There's the numbers. They've created well. Can they release? Great shot. A lovely little tap move by the Pullenvale boys side. Cooper on field two, building pressure on Hodsocks. Socks. 
They get a repeat set, Pull of Val. Here's their chance. That's number eight for Pull of Val. The archer. Bowman to his friends. And there's a lovely little rooster. They dummy the rapper and he just slides straight through. Let's have a look at the replay. The archer. Bowman to his friends. And there's a lovely little rooster. They dummy the rapper and he just slides straight through. The Phantom Menace. The ghost of Pullenvale. Just slides his way through. So long day for these players and the referees. It's been a great carnival so far. Who's got the legs? Who wants it more? It's two all. Two, two. And the warning on the hard touch on the run. Good refereeing there by Jada Phillips. Try to set up. Try to get both middles up. They run a little quickie off that. Half picks up. That's the Frenchman DJ. They do have an overlap, but they slide well. Nice slide defense there by Pullenvale. And they play the roll ball off that. Lost it after the touch was made. Dead play. They step back in. The Frenchman, DG, wee wee, tries to get on the outside. Great touch. That's number eight. The Bowman, Archer. Archer and the Phantom, the middles. They get an overlap. Do they get on the outside? Winger shuts, but good cover defence. Great question. Good defence by the Pullenvale team. He might have hurt himself there. He's looking to come off to the box. Here they go, running a little subset here. They get right across the field to the winger. That's the sub box link. Then they hit the, the close middle. He runs up the same channel up the sideline. And he gets his second touch. They run the third middle. They run the latch there and they lose control. So it was looking like a promising subset. But they get it turned over. One short, they get the winger running across there and Wynnum can get some momentum. There they go, the steam train. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Through the middle, through for the Frenchman. DG, wee, wee. And number seven, that's Dominic. He releases to Fitzy. They pick up. That's not Fitzy's apologies there. That's Ben. Trying to score. Good defence. Winger nearly shut there. But the link tells him to stay out. That's Lockie Green. And ball down to the Frenchman. Next job is to defend and Pullenvale decide to have the buddy release and drive off that. They run the rooster, get around off it. They don't get around in that scenario. So going direct through the middle, winding up. That's number 81, Carter Moore. That's 63, releasing to 76. That's Connor Dunn. In back for number 81, Carter Moore. He gets a cross field. In half is number 24, Lachlan Green. Lockie releases. They release the short side, try to get overlaps. They check back, and there's a the turnover. So the arm wrestle continues to chew here at Runcorn State High School Blues Cup 2021. Picks up from half, trying to get around on the Frenchman, unable to, checks back. This is last touch, throws a long ball, end over end. Steps back on the inside, he's got a wrapper, that's number seven. Look out for his dummy, Dominic. He's no dummy, but he loves to throw him. He's got the great Jonathan Thurston windmill dummy. And uh, Pullenvale run their subset, up the channel. They run the latch here on touch three, I believe it is. Look at them all fan out. Trying to create overlaps. They get both middles in that touch. They should have an overlap to the left. They release. They still got a three on two. They release here. They got a two on one. Cross come the Wynnum side. Great defense by the Wynnum side. Number 13, Daniel Fasao. It's great cover defense. I hope I pronounced that correctly. In the half is number 10. That's Kingsley Peters. And the King releases to number eight. That's Archer Bowman. He gets to pass a couple, tries to dive over, unable to do so. So Wynnum come off their line. Razzle dazzle end to end footy. Crowd is loving every moment of it. He's gone again. That's Fitzy. That's Fitzy. They play the roll ball. Watch the contact is the call. We'll go back and play. So good refereeing there by Maya Creswell-Tino. Warning on the run. And they still send the shooters. That's 25 for Pullenvale. The Phantom Menace, the ghost that walks. 
Jacob Larch. Trying to set up here. They're 20 out, so it's a long way to try to set up from, but here they go. Dummy, dummy, simmy shake. That's Fitzy. Wind picks up. A bit of a chill to that. It's a shiver up my spine, or is it the close contest? Probably a combination. Odd socks on the other side of the field, down the other end, trying to create pressure. And Cooper Roo coming off the line now. So I'll get a score check on field two if I can. I've got my roving reporter, Zoe, never late early. Give me an update shortly. Thanks, Zoe. And that's number eight for Pullenvale, driving the ball, the Bowman. He's got the ball back, getting number 10 to half there. That's the King, Kingsley. They run the Rooster, released off it. There's the overlap. Lovely shot. It is a touch and pass. Clear signalling. Great communication by referee Jada Phillips, captain of the Runcorn State High School Touch Academy with Lachlan Hardesty. It's 2 all on field two, ladies and gentlemen, between Corporu, as they prefer to be called, and Odd Sox. Some call them Cooperu. I think the R might be silent. Driving the ball. Here's a steam train. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Up they go through the middle. Half picks up. That's number 12. Oh, dodgy ball there by T. And they love to do well. Good, very well to catch it. Watch out for this young fella. It reminds me of a young GI, Greg Inglis. Lanky and lean and agile and mean. Green boots to boot to on as well, just so you know where he is. It's Reuben Burns, number three. Hope he gets us a try. He can show his Gwenas try celebration. Pull of our fan on. They try to draw him past. A little fly there on the middle. That's when the middles hide behind each other. At last second, he steps out. Tries to get the far middle to bite and release on a three on two on the far link. That's 63. He steps back. Gets away from the touch there. That's number 12. DG, the Frenchman. Wee oui, wee. Oui. He makes a lovely touch. Driving there on the link. That's Ruben, G.I., and there's a touch, so, oh, he's offside, lovely, lovely touch, driving there on the link, that's Ruben, G.I., and there's a touch, so, oh, he's offside, lovely. she is, apologies, that's Jada Phillips, that's a she, not a he, apologies, Jada, and just like that, they take the lead, 3-2, 8 minutes 42 to go. Referee Bella Mahoney puts the hand up, blows the whistle, and off goes the steam train. Chugga, chugga, chugga. There's Ruben. He's he move well. Such a fluid mover. Referee says two feet. That's Bella Mahoney. Move forward, please, is the next call. Sit up there quickly. Tries to run off the back of it. And sees there's no gaps there. Fitzy, so checks back. Wants it back. Tries to run a punish. Gets the middle. They run short side. They step back to the inside. Good shot in the middle. And they get outside that, and the link comes in. That's number 10. Kingsley, the King Peters. And he stops a try there. Deserves his call as the King of Pullenvale. And no try on field two. Odd Sox attacking the line, and off goes Cooperoo off their line. Pullenvale coming out of trouble. There's number eight for Pullenvale, the Archer Bowman. He's been good so far in this middle part of this this game as we get into the last seven minutes, 45. 3-2 to Pullenvale. And another try here will make him hard to beat. Rooster short. Oh, clear. So Pullenvale score another one. That's 4-2. They run that rooster short side. So roosters, when the middle fades to the link, they try to get the middle to make the touch. Back to live action. G.I. gets away from one. And unlucky, unlucky Ruben touch pass is the call. Lovely footwork. Jinked and jived and jumped in the air. Got around. Lovely call. My Creswell Tino. Refereeing there. Refereeing injured. He's got dislocated fingers. So off they go. Shooter is on. That's Fitzy. Pullenvale trying to get around it. There's the Frenchman, DG. Wee wee. 81 rucks the ball up. That's Carter. 
63, getting up the field. That's Sammy K. Back to ball, that's 81. Carter, he doesn't get around. Number 12 there for Winham Jack Garnier. DG Wee oui, Wee, oui, the Frenchman. Fitzy goes forward. Back to DG. Shimmy Shake gets around number one. Number two. Is that a try? And touch just short. Ooh, that was a moment. That was a moment. Pullenvale, hold on. The feel on the pressure. Watch out for this young fella. Quick play. They run a sweeper. And they pick up from half. They've got overlap. And they release the winger. Ball down. That is all clear. That's number four. Feel on the pressure. Watch out for this young fella. Quick play. They run a sweeper. And they pick up from half. They've got overlap. And they release the winger. Ball down. That is all clear. That's number four. Have a look at the replay. That's Ben Lee. Twice there with the overlap on the sweeper. And half picking up and going at them. So Wynnum need to adjust here with the rooster short side. And Pullivan need to adjust with the half picking up and the sweeper. And getting overlaps. So... Pullenvale's turn. They run their tap move. They ruck to the left channel, run the sweeper, switch in. They get the half in. They run the halo. So halo off that third second ruck. They've got a three on three at the moment. No overlap. And they throw that away. So a bit of panic football. They get the ball where they want it though. Winham's turn. Here comes the steam train. They need a good set out of trouble. Can they wind it up? Chaga, chaga, chaga. First one at half pace. There's the Frenchman, DG, wee oui, wee, oui. he gets them going. There's Ruben, GI lookalike, moving smoothly before D GI got injured, obviously. There's uh, the Frenchman driving forward. There's a lovely hit by number three. Sorry, that's not number three, that's seven, that's Dominic. Best dummy in the game and great shooting by number 25. That's Jacob Larch, the ghost, the Phantom Menace. Going forward here, that's 36. I believe that's Preston. Could be Aaron. I don't have that number on my sheet. Apologies for the viewers at home. There's the fa Phantom Menace. The ghost that walks gets through. Unable to get through. That's time they managed to get a hold of him. Doesn't happen very often. There's the Bowman, Archer. Check back in for the Rooster. They wrap around. And the ghost decides to slow it down. And, yeah, physical touch. Bad luck. No need for that physicality. They were in good shape. The flick and get home is all you needed on your line. Got to be wary of a physical touch inside the seven. Risk of a penalty in a repeat set. Or you get to the side of the ruck and they run a quickie on you. So flick and go home is the call for down this side of the field. And no touch made. So turnover. And here goes a steam train. The Frenchman, DG, wee wee. Pass the ball there to Dominic. And this is Fitzy. He loves a dummy. He has sold it to me. I thought it went. He still had it. It's got glue on his hands. He can't release it. And it's worked effectively for him. Here's the young GI. That's Ruben. He's the Frenchman. DG. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Go driving on the Phantom. The ghost that walks. Picking the ball up. That's Fitzy. He throws a dummy. Dominic. Touch and pass. And touch first. Bad luck, young man. And the call is for a subset from Pullaval. Up 4-3. We're down to 2 minutes 42, 41. Can we get an update on field two? Zoe never late early. We'll check that scores here. Will it be a drop off? Love us a good drop off here. The viewers want it. And there's a turnover. There's a the moment. Turning point. There's the things you look back at at the end of the game. Could that be the moment? So, DG, wee oui, wee. Oui. Drives forward. Update on field two. Two all. Drop-offs are coming. I feel it in the waters. So look to punish the link here. Try to get an overlap. That's 24. Lovely dummy there. And that's Dominic. The Frenchman tries to get a link. Draws a link. Draws the winger. That's all clear. They're in line with that. The Frenchman tries to get a link, draws a link, draws the winger. That's all clear. They're in line with that. That's what we want to see. Everyone's nervous in a drop-off. Odd Sox nearly score. Tucking the line. Unable to do so. Corporu, hang on. Chilly wind 
atmosphere electric, crowd wild, field fast. They run their top play. Rooster driving the link. Here's the halo. Drive in, find your middle. And <clears throat> try to release here on the three on two. They've got it. And no, they don't. That's three on all. Three on three. Sorry, I missed the winger. Check the ball back. That's the Phantom Menace. Gets the ball on the rooster short. And can he release his winger? That's a referee's right there. We've got touch and pass. Great question on the rooster short. And able to get around them. And Winham's turn to get off their line. They have an overlap. Cooper in field two. And they put it down. They're not able to score. That's two all over there. We have last play on both fields. And stay up, pull them out. Got to kill it if they can for the drop off. The dummy, and I'm able to get it. We have drop offs. Ladies and gentlemen, drop offs on field one and field two. They're the cup finals. Pullenvale versus Wyndham. Pullenvale will have the tap. And on field two, it's Odd Sox versus Cooperoo in the drop off. Four on four, two minutes straight. So, teams will have a minute here to set themselves up. It's two on two for two minutes. And if the scores are even at the end of two minutes, we are, oh sorry, four on four, my apologies. Four on four for two minutes. If it's equal at the end of that two minutes, we take a player off, first to score wins. So a bit of tactics come in. You've got to have your strong four on. If you're defending or attacking, that might change who you put on. The team that tapped First, we'll defend first in the drop-off here. So, tactics are plenty. Coaches need their clipboards out, figuring out who they're going to sub, what plays they're going to run. Nerves and tension are all around. So, what's the options here? Who to start and get on the field, gentlemen. And off the girls go over there. I'll try to commentate both fields at once if I can. Father's Day, Blues Cup 2021. Two minutes on the clock. Time has started. Scores back to nil. Oh, no, sorry. Four all. And Pullenvale tap off. Odd Sox tap off. Pullenvale going forward. Running a different setup to they normally run. Not setting up for that halo. Just trying to get down the middle. That's the Bowman and the Phantom Menace. They run the Rooster. They go short. And they release. And a try. Rooster short. Great coaching there by Alec Warner. They have to defend this. Win them. They go back to halfway. They know they've still got time. On field two, Odd Sox just dropped the ball down, attacking the line. So Cooper Roo come off their line. Win them ready for their tap. They get a sub. They get the defensive player on here. Pull them Val. So look for Win to set up for their quickie. Cooper Roo nearly right around them. Get a diving touch there. So here they go. Here's the steam train. Chugga, chugga, chugga. They release to the long ball of the winger. And that's a try with a hit back. Great football. Touch there. So here they go. Here's the steam train. Chugga, chugga, chugga. They release to the long ball of the winger. And that's a try with a hit back. Great football. Correctly, but they just can't defend everything. Cooper Roo dropped the ball on the line. It's a turnover. Odd Sox come off there. Seven. Back to halfway. Oh, I'm tired just watching this. The Phantom Menace takes him up the field with Bowman, Archer. On field two, it's Odd Sox midfield rucking away. Get a half overlap there by Jess Fraser. Rooster, short. And that's a try. They weren't, off, weren't onside. And that is the try. That's the match winner. Short. And... That's a try. They weren't off, weren't onside, and that is the try. That's the match winner. Pullenvale get the win. Congratulations on field two. Tell them it's game. Let's go to field two.
Move the camera over if we can. Just turn it, just turn it. We're on to three on three here. They've got Taylor on with Allegra. Run a sweeper there with Jess to throw the face, but they've got a two on one. And they released the rapper, unable to catch that. So three on three here. Congratulations to Pullenvale in the boys. Cup grand final winners. Over here, it's three on three. Who will win this? Cooperu, they're number one on ranking. And Odd Sox, number two. Both teams need to be here. Taylor makes that touch with Allegra. They've got Jess on. Cooperu trying to run around them. Has she got the speed? She doesn't. The nerve plenty. Atmosphere electric. They try to pick up from half. Half runs. Half court. Great chase. That's Allegra out there. So turn over there. They run out from their seven. So Nick, when they get forward, two on the field, they get their sub on. That's the Fox. The Fox is on with Jess Fraser and Taylor. Legs are burning. Like the guy said, they get to the Fox. And unable to get around him. Great chase. And he's got a bit of injury. They'll check on her. They'll just stop the timer. She's okay. Great sportsmanship by the Fox. Coach Meg Mill will go get to make sure she's okay. First to score wins, ladies and gentlemen. Who will get it? So, heartbreaking way to lose for Wynnum in a drop-off. But well done to Pullenvale. Back to five action. Jess on the sweeper. Back for the seven. And they run the quickie. They get it back. Has she got the speed? And she steps back on the inside. Looks to check. And they run around. They run away from her. So, last touch. Just releases the ring out. Great defence. Touch on their back. That's a try saver. Crowd's going wild here. The atmosphere is electric. It's been all day here on finals day. Father's Day. Blues Cup 2021. Working off their line. Gee, the speed is great for a 3-3 three three drop off. They've been going for a couple of minutes. 3-3 three three after being 2 minutes and 4-4. Four and, four. and it's still high quality. Isn't it? Pull them out here on the side. Congratulations to the Pullenvale boys. Affiliates of the Run Course State High School Touch Program. They try to run the punish on the left. up. It's man on. Can we get open? Unable to do so and they kill it with Fox. So Cooper turn around defending it straight back into their, into their box. Well coached sides both of them. The Fox goes to the far side. And half picks up and now it's starting to slow down. Legs burning. Try to drag out the middle, steps back inside, tries to release, unable to get there. Good metres though, they get to the line. Both coaches calling out their trick plays. Run the counties up inside, tries to outsprint the middle. She steps back and touch. So the step back release off Taylor's the play. She's beaten the first player, but they better run off her. Last play. Taylor steps in. She'll try to stop her player. And gets her on the outside. And she's over. That is the match winner. Oh, Sox. Two-time premiership winners here at Cup. The Cup for the girls. Congratulations to Odd Sox. Congratulations to the Cooper side. They've been fantastic all carnival. Epic grand finals, two drop-offs. What more would you want? What a great kind of what's been here. The 2021 Blues Cup is done and dusted. We'll be back next year, bigger and better. We hope you enjoyed the coverage. And enjoy your Father's Day over and out from Jazzy Buller from Blues Cup 2021.